Do you expect this is where financial services is, are, is going? Uh, are, are the major banks and the brokers out there today moving increasingly toward tokenization? Oh, uh, absolutely. And uh, it's the uh, the way the world will uh, be, uh, you know, here in the, I mean, maybe not even in 10 years, maybe even a lot less time, maybe a couple of years from now. So we're actually embracing it, and I believe that we need to be embracing it to keep the United States States at the forefront. So we've always been using technology to do a better job for the client, and we're going to do the same thing in tokenization. So tokenization, blockchain is real. It's been around for quite a while, but now it's becoming more effective, more efficient, because people are finding ways to do it faster and cheaper, permissioned or not permissioned. And it is also important for you and the people to understand that we need some kind of guardrails around it, because when we do a lot of things, you know, it, it, we have to follow rules and regulations and pricing and best price and best effort and AML, KYC, and it, this needs to have some of that too. So I think regulators and governments, they're all over the place in this, but at one point, hopefully we'll come up with rules and regulations. We are living through the quietest financial coup in modern history, and 99.9% .9 of the population will not realize they have been dispossessed until the moment they try to sell their house and discover the deed no longer answers to them. Welcome to Insider Tech. Tonight we expose, line by line, how every major banks, asset managers, and central banks are converting every real-world asset on Earth into programmable tokens that you will never fully own. This is not coming in 2030. This is live in production right now, Real apartments in Manhattan have already been tokenized. Real U.S. treasuries are already settling on private ledgers. Real central bank money is already flowing through permissioned blockchains. And every single one of them has a backdoor labeled revocable at any time. Let us be perfectly clear right now. Tokenization is not about giving you cheaper, faster markets. Tokenization is about replacing legal ownership with programmable access. The token is not the asset. The token is a conditional claim governed by code you do not control and custodians you did not choose. When that finally sinks in, the entire narrative collapses. BlackRock did not launch Biddle, their 500 million plus tokenized money market fund, because they love decentralization. They launched it because they want to be the sole custodian of record for the next $20 trillion of global wealth. JP Morgan did not spend eight years and untold billions building Onyx so you could save on settlement fees. They built it so every dollar that touches their system can be frozen, redirected, or erased with a single line of code. Singapore's Project Guardian the ECB's Digital Euro Trials, the BIS Innovation Hub's M-Bridge. Every single pilot is live, processing real money under real rules that are not public on private permissioned ledgers. You are not invited unless they say so. The marketing brochure says instant settlement, fractional ownership, 24-7 markets. The actual legal agreement says Access revocable at any time for any reason without notice. This is not decentralization wearing a Brooks Brothers suit. This is centralization on galactic steroids wearing a blockchain Halloween costume. Real estate is already gone in pilot form. In October 2024, the first fully tokenized apartment building in New York City closed escrow. Buyers received ERC-20 tokens on a private Ethereum sidechain instead of traditional deeds. The tokens can be traded in 3 seconds. They can also be frozen in 0.3 seconds. If your token is flagged for suspicious activity, climate score, social credit, or simply because the custodian had a bad day, you no longer have a home. You have a revocable license to occupy space, the same is happening with sovereign debt. The World Bank issued its first blockchain bond in 2018. 
By November 2025, over 11 trillion in government bonds are either fully tokenized or in active pilot. Settlement, T plus zero. Visibility, total. Every coupon payment, every tax obligation, every capital control is now coded into the token itself. No more hiding wealth in Switzerland. No more lost paperwork. No more human judges. Just perfect instant automated obedience. And the crowd cheers because it's more efficient. Smash like if you just felt your stomach drop. This is insider tech. I do the deep dive research so you don't have to. Question in the comments. When your house deed becomes a revocable token and the custodian decides you violated their new climate policy, who exactly do you call? Like and subscribe. Because the people who understand this won't be begging for permission in 2030. Thanks for watching.